I was gone for 10 months. I was in, I left for basic training in AIT in November. And you just came back? I just came back, so I had to go straight to Koji's to get the Koji breakfast burger. Oh, yeah, good. You missed that for 10 months. 10 months. Awesome. And what are you going to eat? The breakfast burger. The perfect thing. breakfast burger, too. Okay, awesome. Okay. Eat the shaka. Come on. Oh, the California guy. You know how to make shaka, too. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, welcome back. Thank you. Okay, man, we got two of the the greatest workers here, your name? Grandma and Golden. Okay. <laughs> Come on down to go cheese. The food is unbelievable. This is like, oh, homemade kind of flavor. It's not a kind of like Russian kind of flavor. And it's so, so good. They all come down to Koji's. Okay, Bruce, come on, give the shaka. Come on down to Koji's. The come food on. here is... <laughs> oh, she! Awesome. There were many thoughts, lessons, and experiences as we visited Rikuzen Takata, a city not eastern Japan. Imagine in 2011, they had a population of approximately 24,000 people and a beautiful shoreline with crowded beaches during the summer, had a dense forest with over 70,000 pine trees. Today, only a pine tree replica remains. Rikuzen Takata is such a beautiful place, but on March 11, 2011, a magnitude 9.0 earthquake set a massive tsunami completely destroying 3,250 buildings. You could see how the wave came into an inlet, traveled five miles up the valley. Seafood was the main industry, and during the summer, they enjoyed the traditional Tanabata or Star Festival. I read about it and really wanted to go and check out the festival. Kuzin Takata, it was a 900 year tradition. Every town in Japan celebrates a festival in their own way, but each contains beautiful colorful floats and writing wishes for the future on a small piece of paper and hanging them on a piece of bamboo. In the past, there were 12 floats. After the tidal wave, only three remain. In Rikuzen Takata, there's two festivals. The first, the moving Tanabata, where neighborhood decorates their own float, pulling it at different locations, while the taiko drummers keep the beat from the inside of the float. The second is the fighting Tanabata, consists of four floats squaring off in two one-on-one -on -one battle. They fight with men on the top of the float, using long bamboo pole. It was about a 600 yard pool with two or three turns. So we decided to help a community with the older people and children to push the float in their old neighborhood location. But it was hard work and our bodies were sore. Anyway, Tanabata Festival or Star Festival, according to a legend, the Milky Way separates two lovers represented by stars and only once a year they are able to meet. And they'll meet during Tanabata Festival. Glad to see, although the tsunami destroyed 9 of the 12 floats in March, in August of that year the survivors repaired the three remaining floats to continue the tradition. At 2016 festival, I was glad that I saw four floats. Again, there's no place we wanted to be except with our friends at Rikuzen Takata. Aloha! I am so happy. Ben Franklin Kraft told me, when you come to Osaka, you come to Blossom Party. They have the most unbelievable, amazing card making, wedding planning. In fact, you can check them out on BlossomParty.com. We have Ru Rui, the number one card making expert to wedding planning expert. Rui, aloha. Aloha. Today, Rui is going to show me something special. What are you going to show me? I will show you how to make this. Can you imagine going to a party and see something like that? with a macaroon underneath made out of hardy, hardy clay. Remember now, we have this hardy clay that they sell at Ben Franklin Craft. And it, it is a really, really good product because you have to go and put it in the oven. Eh? 
and she makes it about this kind of size and she puts the oil in this mold and the mold you can also find it in Ben Franklin craft this is a very nice idea now she oh you see she took it out with a, a bunch of toothpicks she taped it together and she's able to take it out and so she makes a fancy design with the toothpick again using medical honey clay okay a little bit more honey clay so you really thought of this idea here and you know that's that's you see being creative is so important and it's so unique so you can do this in all different colors yeah then she makes another small piece sticks it on okay and sticks on a oh it's just a macaroon oh look at that very very nice okay so simple chip okay then okay she cuts a small strip of rhinestone from the ribbon she peels it see how much it, this rhinestone ribbon adds to the whole um macaroon okay it's always good to get a nice sharp scissors and also you can find the scissors at Ben Franklin Craft. Yeah? Okay. Oh! See how nice it is? So that's the stand of the macaroon. Okay? Oh, feather. Alright. Then she puts a little glue on top. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Then she puts in the wire. Cut. Cut. Yeah. Yeah, it's a show. See? Very nice. And puts it in. Okay. Then you can just make your name tag like that. Maybe. It's always good to get this beautiful cutter. It cuts perfect every time. Okay. Puts a little glue on top. Okay. And puts it on. Tai <sighs> Chipang. Okay. Sayonara. Aloha. Arigato. Number one e-craft girl in Osaka. Aloha and welcome to Behind George Yoshida's Camera. First of all, George Yoshida and I want to thank you for making our island such a special place. People playing together, working together, and caring for others as one big family. I guess here is a place where people respect each other and will base the decisions on how it affect others. So appreciative to be living in this great place of Hawaii. And I want to take this opportunity to thank all of you for being so special, for treating people special, for bringing smiles and laughter to others, and for making our world a better place. There are very few places in the world where people have this type of values. So thank you everyone for making the Big Island the greatest place in the world. We should all be thankful that we live on this great island of Hawaii. Magatan Balazan, so we are Thank you. Hey, guess what, man? I got the prettiest girls in Hilo. Hey, come on, give the shaka, pretty girls. Give the shaka. Come on. And guess what, man? I got my friend Wesley and Matthew over here. Hey, good service, hey, Wesley and Matthew. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, give the shaka. Shaka. Yeah. Okay, man, I got my friends here. Hey, how does Uncle Derek eat? <laughs> good, good. I got my friend Malia over here. Malia, you have a client. What are you going to tell her? Um, I can't tell your name, but you know who you are. Hi! Hi. Malia loves you. Okay, I got my friends here, man. How do I eat? Mm. Okay, give them mm, shaka. Yeah, okay. And forevermore, that's how.
Guess what? You see this beautiful lay? It was made by my friend over here. Hey, thank you very much for the lay. Hey, awesome, eh? Yeah. <laughs> give the shaka, give the shaka. Yeah. <laughs> Though the clouds are dark above, life will be bright for me. What you, everybody? Cook, what you cooking up today, man? Fresh fish. Fresh fish. Awesome. Yeah. Give the fresh fish shaka. Okay. Give the shaka. Give the shaka. Oh yeah, yeah Mazi. Chili pepper. Awesome. Water. You guys want to tell everyone out there? Aloha from Kuhariki. Okay. Give the shaka. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guess what, man? Yeah, Moke. You got a special message to someone special out there. Hey, Tan. Love you. Ooh. Sweet guy. Hey, guess what? I got my man over here, Dennis. And he just started and he's going to Hawaii Community College. Okay, so when you graduate, you want everybody to hire you? Oh, yeah. Okay, give the hiring shot at it. Yeah, okay, Dennis. Remember these guys' face, okay? Awesome. <laughs> First, I want to thank Mr. and Mrs. Kunitaki for having his brother make this special custom knife. The weight is perfect. It feels really good. One day, I'll be cutting and chopping Aku with this knife on our television show. Thank you, Mr. Kunitaki. Next, a friendly reminder. Mark your calendars for this year's Taste of Hilo event happening on October 16 at the Hilo Hompa Hongwanji Sangha Hall. It is organized by the Japanese Chamber of Commerce and a fundraiser for the Hawaii Community College Food Service and Business Program. This year's special featured chef Brian Hirata will be preparing two Maui venison dishes. Tickets are on sale, $50 pre-sale, $65 at the door, and Kiki under two is free. Order your tickets at the Chamber's office. Call 934-0177. Get your tickets today. So that's it for Behind George Ishida's camera. But before we go, we want to thank our volunteer cameraman, George and Shirley Ito. And thank you so much for watching us on Seniors Living in Paradise. We'll see you tomorrow night. Aloha! Welcome to the Hokulia. I went to Hokulia Golf Course for the 15th annual Allison Onizuka Foundation Golf Fundraiser. It was a beautiful day with many talented golfers all having fun. 
for raising money for such a worthy cause. Here's Claude Onizuka, brother of astronaut Allison Onizuka. Oh, it's an exciting day. I got Claude Onizuka here. 15th annual foundation golf uh, fundraising tournament. It's another successful one. So Claude, maybe you can kind of tell me what's happening here with the Space Center. Well, the Space Center, uh, we closed it on April 30th. And uh, we put all of the things in storage, but we're looking for different locations to uh, display Allison's memorabilia and things. So we're fortunate uh, we have people stepping up and uh, kind of offering us space, and we're kind of weeding that out and trying to pick the best locations. Fantastic. And you know, Allison's legacy lives on. And you know, I go to schools and stuff like that, and you guys are bringing in astronauts, you're bringing in space programs. Um, you look today, you look at all our public schools, I mean, robotics, you look at all these things. It all started with Allison. So you know what? It's a fantastic, fantastic cause. And in fact, I went to Waikiki Intermediate School. I talked to some of the students, and they thought there was like a most unbelievable, memorable experience having an astronaut there. So yeah. thank you so very much. Yeah, you're welcome. But uh, since the Space Center is closed, we're looking at uh, doing more science events. Uh, we're also going to continue bringing an astronaut over every year, visiting some schools, and uh, we're looking at a scholarship program, which we probably go statewide on a scholarship. Oh, fantastic! And you know. Who do you want to thank for, for I mean, you got, you got all these volunteers, right? You got all these great players coming out. Hopefully, I donated in a golf course. I mean, there's so many people giving prizes. I mean, anything you want to mention or? Yeah, I, I just want to thank everybody that uh, came out and sponsored us and participated in our tournament. Uh, we're very fortunate that we uh, sold out the tournament one month in advance. And, uh, you know, it's a... Uh, a lot of repeat golfers that uh, look forward to coming to our tournament. From all over the islands. Right. It helps the Korean economy too. Every I'm island. unreal. Right. But, uh, and to all our sponsors and our donors for the yep. prizes and yep. things, you know, uh, it really helps us to carry on Ellison's legacy.